Hello, this is my first guide on this game and in this series I'm going to go over the basics of Crypto the Necrodancer and stuff that you need to know playing the game. There's already a great playlist on how to deal with enemies made by Elat Difficult that I'll link in the description. But without further ado, in this episode we're gonna go over all of the base weapons in the base or vanilla game. So, the first weapon we'll be looking at is the dagger. It's the base weapon that characters like Cadence, Bard and so on start with. It can just attack enemies right in front of you and has nothing really special going for it except for it being drawable. But there are different types of daggers called special daggers, starting with the dagger of facing. It deals 2 damage and has piercing, which means it can damage to things like blade master parries, skeleton shield and killing them on horses. Second, we have the dagger of frost. It freezes all enemies it damages and kills all frozen enemies, making it effectively two shot everything. It also melts when you take fire damage, from for example a bomb or getting hit or standing on hot coals. And finally the jewel dagger which just has five damage. There's also the spear. It's just a dagger with double the range and it's also the starting weapon for a bolt. Now we're moving on to the more interesting weapons, starting with the broadsword. It attacks in a 1x3 area in front of you. Also, when you have a weapon that can attack an enemy diagonal to you, it can attack through walls like these. Then comes the longsword. It attacks in a 2x1 area in front of you and it can attack multiple enemies at the same time. But I accident accidentally just hit one of those. Now the rapier. It can atta attack enemies right in front of you, like the dagger, but its speciality is its lunging. You can charge at an enemy, dealing double the damage of the base weapon, where it used as a dagger. And here we have the whip. It's fine, widely unliked by racers, although with being a fairly safe weapon for casual play because of its enormous range. It can attack in a 1x5 area in front of you, but it can attack only one enemy at a time. So you can get stuck just having hit to hit enemies that are quite far from you. Also, it refers the left side to the right side when attacking. Same goes for the cat. Similar to the whip, the cat also attacks enemies one by one in a in a one by three area in front of you. But it can also attack enemies beside you. The tricky part is that when you want to attack enemies beside your diagonal from you, you have to move while attacking. Although the movement is blocked when a wall is blocking it. And here we have the flail. It attacks around you in the same pattern as the whip, but it attacks them all at the same time and knocks back the enemies it can't kill. The knockback is really useful in clearing minibuses because you can just pin them against the wall, not being able to do anything while just play at them. Now, moving on to the ranged weapons, which are quite rare in the crypt. First we have the crossbow. It can attack for 4 squares in front of you, shooting one enemy at a time. The shots have piercing and it needs to be reloaded every 3 shots. Second we have the bow. It can attack 3 squares in front of you, one enemy at a time, and is the only one of the ranged weapons that doesn't need reloading. There are also guns like the blunderbuss and the rifle. The blunderbuss attacks in a 3 range cone in front of you dealing 2 damage to everything hit, and it needs to be reloaded after every shot. The rifle on the other hand needs to be reloaded before every shot, but the shots have piercing and spend throughout the entire level, until hitting a wall. It also deals 3 damage, which makes it good at opening crates.
Besides having different weapons, there are also different types of weapons in Cryptos the Necrodancer. These types are gold, glass, blood, obsidian and titanium on top of the base weapons, which you've been seeing this whole video. All of the types can appear on all of the weapons besides the special daggers and the guns. Gold makes enemies drop double the gold and the beat after picking up gold you have infinite damage. Glass has 4 damage but it breaks after taking a hit leaving you with having to pick up the glass shard which is just a base dagger. Blood heals you after every 10 kills and makes you have infinite damage when being on half a heart. Obsidian has its damage rely on your coin multiplier. When you have a multiplier of 1, the weapon deals 1 damage, when you have a multiplier of 2, it deals 2, and when you have a multiplier of 3, it deals 3. And tita finally titanium which is just a clean damage increase to 1 with no downside. In damage increase to 2 with no downsides. Thanks for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one.